In this session, we will demonstrate the use of the Android Data Capture application. We will show you the steps that are required to log into DHIS2 through an Android device. We will go through the steps of selecting the different parameters required to start the data entry process, as well as discuss some of the basic mechanics of entering data on the Android application. We will show how data is sent from the Android device to the DHIS2 system and also demonstrate offline data entry on the Android device. Let's go ahead and get started with the session. In this session, we will show how the Android application can be used to enter aggregated data into DHIS2. We'll start the session by showing a blank data entry page from the web application. In this particular example, I've selected the organization unit, Cassava Hospital, the dataset, syndromic surveillance, and the period, week 44 for 2016. We can see there are currently no data values present in this particular dataset for this period and organization unit. We will transition over to the Android application and enter data for this particular organization unit, dataset, and period combination. Let's start by opening up the Android application. The Android application that is used to enter aggregated data into DHIS2 is called DHIS2 Data Capture. For anyone who is interested in following along on their own Android device, please go ahead and have a look at the resources section for this module. We have provided instructions regarding how you can download the application and install it on your own Android device. We'll open up the DHIS2 Data Capture application. We then have to enter the server URL, the username, and the password. Note that the server URL that is being used in this demonstration is different than the one that has been provided to you, so please have a look at the resources section if you want to log in and try this on your own. When I've entered in the relevant details, I'll go ahead and tap on Login. This will load the interface of the data capture application. We still select the same three parameters as we would select in the web application. We start by selecting our organization unit. Next, we select our data set. And finally, we select our period. We can see that I've selected the same parameters for this data set when I compare it to the web application on the left hand side of the screen. I'll tap where it says syndromic surveillance. This will open up the page and allow me to enter data on the Android device. Once I've entered the data, I can go ahead and click on save. After I click on save, you will notice that a notification appears on the Android device. We can see in this example, the notification indicates that the import process has been completed. What this means is that the data has been sent from the Android device to the DHIS2 server that you have logged into. We can verify this by checking on the online web application if this data is now present. Here we are back in the web application and we're just going to reload the page. We'll select the same data set and period that we selected in our earlier example. We can see that the data that we entered on the Android device now appears within the web application. We can also see that this data set has been marked as complete. You can see it's also been completed by the Android user. When we click on the save button that's available within the Android device, this acts similarly to the complete button on the web application. It serves a dual function of both sending the data to the server and marking the data set as complete. Now one thing you will note, on the Android device, we don't have any option to run the validation rules like we do in the web application. So this is something we should take into consideration when we are using this Android device to enter our data.